We had a whole bunch of struggles trying to get the marks to align and we couldn't get them to align properly and get the belt to slide on and then I remembered reading somewhere that after you put the marks on you should spin the engine one full revolution. So we made our best guess and spun it a revolution and magic happened and everything lined up. Oh shit! So we've got a real problem here. Um, we have replaced the seals on this engine, uh, the water pump, gasket, the front, I don't know what you call it, main seal housing gasket, the um, uh, gasket for the oil pan, and several other things. And in the process of doing that, I ran across something that bugged me last time we were in here, and I noticed it, but just didn't put two and two together. This, that's not okay. See, there's a keyway right here. And there's a keyway in the crankshaft, and here's the timing mark at the top of the engine. How could that be all right? There is a lot of play in this keyway, and that's not good. I've already had this apart, and so I can show you what the problem is right here. So this is the key that was inside of the keyway and you can see that it is significantly worn. Um, that shape is not the shape that this key should be. This should be a five and a half by six millimeter key something like this. But the really crappy thing is that it's caused a deformation to happen. So one thing I want to do here is figure out how bad the deformation might be inside of the crank. So I want to know if this keyway is significantly damaged. So for the second time in 24 hours, I'm using potato bread to fix a car. If there's a society for the abuse of bread products, they're going to be looking for us. So that should give us an impression of sorts. I'm going to uh, peel it away a little bit so I can see it a little better. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of bent down on this side. It's not square anymore. But if we can get the right size key in there, and if we can get a gear that doesn't have this kind of damage to it, then hopefully um, we can get something that'll function. That's the damage to the old keyway. And the new keyway that we got out of an engine that actually hasn't really netted us much at all to this point, but it is pristine. So that's good. And then just to complete the view of this, here is the uh, old key, and you can see how messed up that thing is. And then the new key, you can see that it's used, but in good shape. We'll see if it actually fixes all the slop or if the crankshaft has enough damage that it won't make much of a difference. So I can tell just right away that the key wiggles in here, whereas I had to tap it out of the other keyway. So it's almost certain that it's not going to fix the problem entirely, which is unfortunate. But our backup plan was to JB weld it because otherwise we really need to replace the crankshaft. So it's possible if there's enough pressure from the, the keyway that we're, we have on the gear here that it will work. Now I see that there is just a little bit of play in here and that's going to make me want to uh, stick some JB weld in the keyway on the crankshaft. It's a suboptimal solution but we're not going to change the crank. We're making the best of a bad situation here. Clearly this is not something that you wish you would have to do. I would never recommend that you do this but you know it is an option. So, since this keyway has damage to it and it's making it too large, we're going to JB weld around the key. And hopefully what we'll be left with is just a little bit of JB weld in this gap right here. Putting the JB weld on and then throwing, uh, throwing this guy on there should help us place the key in the right spot and hopefully we won't end up JB welding the parts together and we'll be able to remove them if we want to later. So we've got the JB weld in here now and I've tried to clean it out anywhere it might interfere because that should allow it to go on very smoothly. It looks like it has got enough in there that it should discourage the thing from moving around and should not keep us from putting the gear back on. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Last time I did this I said, Jonas, you know what you should have done? You should have put the fucking tensioner on before you put on the timing belt. I was like, wow, Jonas, you're a smart dude. And I was like, you know what, next time, you know what we'll do? Put the tensioner on before the belt. Did you do it? Guess what I didn't do. 
torqued. <laughs> Sick. Mmm. Oh. 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 Just a few more minutes for JB Weld to become stronger than steel. If that fucking happens. Might. Oh, shit. Good job.